Good day and welcome to Space Station Live and the Christopher C. Kraft Jr. Mission Control Center in Houston, Texas. On board, of course, uh, the uh, International Space Station's Expedition 36 crew is made up of NASA's Chris Cassidy, uh, flight engineer for Expedition 36, uh, Russia's Pavel Vinogradov, the commander of the expedition, and uh, Russia's Alexander Mazurkin, uh, another flight engineer. The trio of uh, astronauts and cosmonauts are going through a variety of different experiment work and uh, space station maintenance activities today as they continue as a three-person crew awaiting the arrival of three more crew members the day after Memorial Day. Today, Chris Cassidy is working with the capillary flow experiment. Uh, that's a suite of fluid physics experiments that look at how uh, they flow uh, in the microgravity environment using containers and complex geometries. According to Mark Weislogel, the uh, uh, principal investigator for this, uh, the experiment being worked on today was involved with the, the vein gap experiment, uh, and that is involving Chris Cassidy helping to map measurements by trapping uh, the advancing and receding fluids in different gaps formed uh, uh, by what they call the Cassidy method. Uh, using the approach, uh, Cassidy quickly identified the advancing and receding limits of these fluids, uh, and uh, we wrote them down on the ground to monitor that and understand better how those fluids flow in orbit. Overall, the experiment uh, is designed to help improve current computer models that are used by designers of low-gravity fluid systems uh, and may improve fluid transfer systems for future spacecraft. Chris Cassidy also today is uh, going to be replacing one of the hard drives on the space station support laptop computers and performing some routine checkouts of the crew medical restraint system, uh, which would be used uh, to hold down a crew member if they were to have a health problem or an injury and needed treatment in the microgravity environment. Meanwhile, his Russian colleagues, Pavel Vinogradov and Alexander Mazurkin, are uh, working on installing a new treadmill in the Zvezda service module. Uh, since the first uh, uh, early days of the space station, the uh, crew has used the treadmill vibration isolation system, a U.S. designed and built uh, for specifically for spaceflight uh, treadmill that is recessed in the floor of the Zvezda service module. Uh, that has uh, gotten a little bit old, and the uh, Russian crew members today are working on replacing it with with a brand new Russian manufactured treadmill uh, that uh, should uh, help improve the exercise capabilities aboard the space station. Chris Cassidy just completed uh, an event in which he talked with uh, students uh, from the uh, Florida Institute of Technology, as well as a professor, associate professor Heidi Hatfield Edwards, uh, who uh, is at the Florida Institute of Technology with students there who are working on a joint project with the Florida Today newspaper uh, to look at long duration spaceflight effects on crew members. Later today, Cassidy is going to have a ham radio or an amateur radio pass with uh, Anna Kappa School in Santa Barbara, California. Just recently, the uh, Spartan flight controller Tony Vareja reported to flight director Jed Freeling that uh, the uh, power channel that was affected by last week's uh, ammonia leak of a coolant pump on the 2B portion of the space station solar array uh, grouping uh, has been restored to full functionality. Uh, that means that the uh, 2B power channel is now back in uh, the mix and providing uh, a full eight solar arrays of power to the International Space Station systems. The Chris Cassidy, uh, along with uh, uh, recently uh, departed Tom Marshburn conducted a five and a half hour spacewalk just two days after the ammonia leak was noticed in that area on the port side of the space station's truss structure and successfully replaced a uh, pump control module uh, and so far the uh, flight controllers that are monitoring that systems are seeing no signs of uh, any leaks they have seen that the uh, the replaced pump module the old pump module uh, has completely leaked out its uh, ammonia supply and is no longer uh, leaking any more of that ammonia. Uh, they have seen no new leaks uh, reported from the, uh, the new pump module, which is working well and allowing that to, uh, to be channeled to be put back into the power systems of the space station. It's going to take a month and a half or so before they can ver validate that all leaks have been, uh, have been removed because there's one very small pesky leak that they want to make sure, and it's going to take some trending data to determine whether that's fixed. 
During uh, crew sleep tonight, Mission Control is going to be performing a check out of the backup control center in Huntsville, Alabama. That control center associated with the payload operations integration center is the second tier of backup locations where Mission Control Houston would uh, relocate in the event of a hurricane or another uh, disaster here in Houston, on the, which is on the Gulf Coast. And meanwhile, at the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan, NASA's Karen Nyberg, the European Space Agency's Luka Pamitano, and Russian Soyuz Commander Fyodor Yuchikin are making final preparations for their launch to the International Space Station on, March, on May 28, uh, when they will join the trio that's on orbit and round out the normal six-person crew.